Hey guys, it's currently 9.22 and I'm going to be working on some code. I'm going to work on a schedule list today and we'll see how it goes. So I'm here in Figma and I'm going to show you what I'm planning to make here. This is my app running right now and this is what I'm trying to make or at least the UI mock that I'm trying to replicate. There's a few issues that I have here if I change the resolution here the words don't exactly stay on the same line and i also want to work on the page that comes from clicking each row which would be this timer system which allows us to set a time for each day and right now it just goes to a random page so hopefully i can get this all done there's some cool features here. Besides saying this start and end date, we can turn off the day so that people can make certain dates inactive. And I felt like this was a really cool and minimalistic design to my schedule list. I also forgot to mention that I want to change the title header here to look like this. So I want the title to be more to the left and I want the button to be more prominent because right now it seems like there isn't really an indicator that this is actually a button that brings up your schedule list or the selected schedule list that you want to show for each weekday. All right, so let's get started here. Honestly, for now, I think if the strings go onto a different line, that's fine. Most mobile resolutions won't be this small and if it is this small or if the font size is bigger for accessibility reasons then I think it's appropriate that the size causes the string to go to the next line so we'll leave that for now and I think I'll work on the title header first so guys I just want to take this time to talk to you guys from the future Again, I am working in dark files, which means that I'm using the Flutter framework. So if that sounds like a bunch of gibberish, what it essentially means is the code language is Dart and the framework that I'm using similar to React um, would be Flutter. And the reason why I decided to go with Flutter was because I only would have to code this application one time. So Lots of times when you build a mobile app, you have to care about whether you code in Kotlin or Swift, and Flutter does a really good job of making things universal, so you only have to code in Dart, and then you'll be able to upload to iOS, Android, or even desktop applications. And so, yeah, the goal of this is to just make a productivity app. This is my first time making a mobile app on the side so it's like my first side project and i've always been super excited about productivity and just trying to help people have a better environment to focus on and so what this app is meant to do if you haven't watched the other videos yet is it's supposed to lock people out of certain apps that they choose and it'll send that over to an accountability partner and they will have the ability to lock the person's phone or unlock it well not really lock the phone but yeah to unlock their phone and i thought that this was a really good way of locking phones in a very fun way instead of leaving it up to the person individually where most people wouldn't have the self-control to lock themselves out and not put in their own passwords or just straight up disregard the app that's trying to stop them from going into certain apps. So that's the idea behind everything. Hopefully it all makes sense. I'll be doing a lot of these time lapses just to give myself some time to speak and also talk about myself, help you understand the project and let you guys know a little bit more about me and whatnot. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy the time lapse. I think it looks beautiful just looking at me coding for I think this was about five hours and I sped it up a bunch. I tried to speed up even faster, but then you kind of just don't see me moving through the code and all that stuff. But 
overall, this session wasn't so bad. It felt pretty good. I wasn't burnt out at all after five hours. And I felt like that was a good benchmark to know that this is a project that I enjoy, which is like, I think the number one thing when it comes to building side projects. So hopefully it'll keep going well. Hopefully I won't run into any bumps. In terms of what I'm doing in the recording, I think the only bump that I came across was I was setting indexes incorrectly because I was trying to make it so certain UI would show up if there was a schedule list selected and if there wasn't, it would say no schedule list. And there was like a miss indexing that was happening and it took me a little bit of time to figure it out, but I, I figured it out pretty quickly. The other thing that I noticed was I was working a lot with modal sheets. So those are the sheets that scroll up and I made it once to just get the foundation down, but what it ended up causing was me copy and pasting a lot of code. And I think what I want to do for the future is I want to try and make a reusable modular method or class that could be used in order to use modal sheets more freely. And it's not necessarily a class, they're called widgets in Flutter, but widgets are essentially the UI class objects that we use to show onto the screen. So this is the only problem. It wasn't too bad. The overall session was like a good eight out of 10. I knew what I was doing and yeah, hope that you enjoy the content. If you like it, then feel free to keep watching and enjoy the time lapse and I'll catch up with you guys at the end.
second moru sheet that I'm working on and it feels like I'm copying and pasting a lot of code so it might be beneficial if I duplicate it or I make a reusable widget so that it's a little bit easier but I just need to check if I'm going to be using more modal sheets probably it seems like it's ingrained in a lot of the, the mocks that I have so it might be worth investing some time into it or maybe I should just keep on working on this and optimize later. For now, I think I'm okay with copying and pasting and I can clean up the code at a later time. All right, I think that's enough for today. I'm gonna cover what I did. So I worked on the top header here. So it looks a little bit more like this now. So I really like that. It looks a lot more clean. I was wondering how to have icons stack on top of each other. It turns out that you just use a stack widget. And I also dealt with creating a modal sheet pop up when you click the chevron or when you click the row. So all of this looks a lot nicer. I'll work on this maybe tomorrow. And I also made it output the specific day. So I really like that as well. But we're pretty far away from implementing this entire sheet here so it's definitely definitely still have a lot more to do but happy with the progress so far so i totally forgot to record an outro for this video so i am recording two days after i filmed but if you like the video then feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and i will see you in the next video peace